Look how the turntables have. <laughs> I'm coming by cab and you're coming by metro. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, dude. back home it's been an exhausting day went to the mall to pick up the airships and of course met Manoj for lunch and I also watched the movie Guardians of the Galaxy man what a movie I got emotional I think because Rocket reminds me of Scratch I'm not gonna lie I cried a little okay let's get this out of the way so you can see my handsome face another sneaker unboxing back-to-back -back pickups I don't think that's a good idea because I was planning to downsize my collection but hey, the way I look at it, I'm walking a lot more in Dubai than I was ever, even in India or on vacation. So I'm running through my pairs, I'm beating them down quite hard. It's only fair that I have enough of a rotation to keep the soles from giving out. I stopped by the Jordan store in Dubai mall. You already know what it is, but let's take some time to appreciate this packaging. You see how the box fades from blue to like a age, like imagine this was kept inside on a shelf and this end was facing outwards, which is why you have it darker here and it's lighter on this side, like an aged kind of a vibe. I got the airship in the diffuse blue colorway and I went through the size right there, UK8, USA9. You know what I just realized? The hotel room I'm in is also white and blue. Upside down. The pair comes with this nice kind of a booklet. Airship PE it says right there. I think this is like an owner's manual like it says. So it runs through the details of the pair. The outsole, the insole. And yeah, the overall vibe of the pair. Mm. Bam! There you have it. Well, on the blue pair, the white parts all crack leather. You can see that right there. So the entire white bits are all cracked leather. And the blue is all like the shaggy suede. And on the red pair, they've inverted it. So the white parts are all that shaggy suede kind of a thing. And these bits right here are all in cracked leather. For those of you that don't know about the airship, this is what they actually had Michael Jordan play in because the Jordan one wasn't ready and all the entire band story of how he was banned from wearing it on court that was actually the airship and not the Air Jordan 1 really so this one has a lot of heritage this is my first pair of airships and I know a lot of you in my stories as well asked if these were the Nigel Sylvester ones well these are not because Nigel only did like a friends and family pair and his said bike air on the back Whereas this one says every game. Now this isn't even a Nigel Sylvester takedown or a Nigel Sylvester gentle release because you know Nigel's pair also had that mini swoosh and this part right here was done in like a grey or a sail colorway. This funnily enough is dedicated to a underwear. <laughs> okay not an underwear but like a compression tight. So apparently Michael Jordan used to wear his UNC tights under his Chicago Bull shorts. It was like his good luck charm or whatever and he wore it every game which is why the pair says every game. So weird, weird uh, dedication of a sneaker but I wanted an airship and I thought this colorway was really nice which is why I ended up getting a pair. Now let's go through the details and it's funny because I don't have the Lost and Founds but I do have the Nigel Sylvester pair. And very similarly on the outsole of the Nigel Sylvester pair you had a bit of fading and aging kind of a look and I hear that's the case with the lost and founds as well you have that midsole that nice sail yellowing very subtle not done over the top we discussed the cracked leather on the upper another thing that's common with the lost and founds I hear I've not seen a pair in hand and that shaggy suede on the blue 
panels. The pair comes with an extra set of laces. You have the sail laces, but I think I'm gonna keep them on the ones that they are pre-laced with, with this darker navy like on the sock liner shade which then brings us to the tongue aging of the tongue i don't know why do they always give out this pink vibe i think that was the case on the lost and founds as well anyway the tongue's like a regular jordan one kind of a tongue and you have the nike air tag done right there and that's about it in terms of sizing i went through the size what's the insole like is it a polyurethane insole oh yes the insole much like the 1985 high cut is that nice cushiony plump <laughs> polyurethane insole and it's got the jumpman logo right there and this one also if i'm not mistaken like the high 85 is board lasted anyway the thing that i wanted to talk about which is interesting to me you see this bit right here this one is not attached it's separated from the rest of the shoe and what's nice or interesting is that you have this elasticated band right here so I'm not sure if that's supposed to stretch out so you have more flexibility in the pair and that's on uh, both sides by the way well I guess I should have just read this handbook because it says that those straps are for better forefoot stability and then you also have the Nike air sole the polyurethane midsole just like on the high 85 interesting that's it i've been rambling on it's time to put on this pair and show you what it looks like on feet i completely forgot to smell the shoes though Okay, wow, <laughs> wow. This is just like a Jordan 1. It smells just like a Jordan 1. And I guess that's because it's got more or less a lot of things to do with the Jordan 1 in terms of construction and all of that. Wow. Right, I'm definitely crossing certain boundaries. But I'm having one of those days where if you feel like not, if you feel like not enough people saw your outfit, you didn't really wear it, so I'm kind of repeating this fit. Shut up. Hello, hello. What's up? You're wearing a bay t-shirt. <laughs> what's up? What's up? Good, good. You're wearing Nike, Anna. <laughs> Good night. Good night, dude. Bye, good night. <laughs> Thank you for staying all the way to the end, you guys. If you haven't already, give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that thing right there. Be a subscriber. I'll have content coming out every now and then. I promise. I'll see you guys on the next one, though. Peace.